friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is going to be a luxury beauty chatty get ready with me while I share with you guys a major life update. Don't worry, it's nothing dramatic. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not engaged or anything like that. But it is a pretty big change for me. And I feel like it would be weird if I didn't share this with you guys. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about it today. Hopefully some of you guys can relate to what I'm going through. And while I chat about it, of course, I'm going to be doing my makeup with some of my favorite luxury beauty products. I picked out a bunch of classic from Chanel Dior, Tom Ford. I got some Gucci, Guerlain, Victoria Beckham Beauty. We have a really nice mix here today. So if you want to hang out with me and have a chill little get ready with me, then keep watching. All right, friends, let's get started. I'm going to pin my hair back. I feel like I'm so puffy today. I don't know what happened, but that's okay. We're going to put some makeup on and it's going to look cute. I want to start off this video just with a quick disclaimer. I have the classiest subscribers ever, so I don't even really feel like I need to say this. But keep in mind, friends, the things I'm going to be saying in this video, these are my personal personal life updates. I feel like whenever I share this news with strangers, coworkers, friends, family, most people like to give me like their two cents about the news. And the majority of the time it is very polite, but there have been many times, more times than I thought there would be that people aren't so polite and they like to kind of give me their very blatant opinions. And so I just want to say guys, be nice in the comments, be respectful, be respectful to each other as well. This really isn't too deep. <laughs> this is just my chatty get ready with me life update, but I feel like I need to say that just based off of, you know, people's two cents and opinions that I have heard amongst the people in my life. I'm gonna start this look off with the Victoria Beckham Augustinus Batter Primer. This is the gold shade. I haven't used this in a while, so I thought we would give this a try. I know I've been using the Chanel Primer a lot as of late from the Winter Glow Collection. I actually like this one, I think a little bit better. I know, I like this one a lot. It's very, very good. But anyway, guys, I'm just gonna share my news with you. I don't even know how to say this, okay? My news is, I am moving. I am not only moving out of this apartment, which many of you guys pretty much guessed because in one of my recent videos where I shared my resolutions for 2024, I told you guys that I was going to be getting my own makeup studio. And for me, that just means a second bedroom where I can actually, you know, do this stuff and be a little bit more comfortable, have my makeup around me, have like my clothes and everything that I need for my filming around me. But not only am I going to be moving apartments, I'm actually moving across the country. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be explaining why, just kind of sharing, I don't know, why I'm moving, why am I not going to be in Boston anymore. So friends, I am moving out of Boston and I am going to be moving to Dallas, Texas. And maybe some of you guys guessed this because I have visited Dallas twice in 2023. You might've seen that on my Instagram stories. I don't think I vlogged it or anything like that, but you probably were wondering like, why are you in Dallas? You don't have any family there. You don't really have any friends there. I have two friends there from college, which is really nice, but I really don't have any reason to be moving to Dallas other than the fact that I want to. So why am I moving to Dallas? I'm going to explain. Actually, I'm first going to explain why I'm moving in general, why I'm moving out of Boston, because I don't hate Boston. I've lived here for 14 years, but I do feel like it is time for me to kind of change things up just based on what I'm looking for in life. And guys, I'm going to be applying the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I haven't used this in a hot second and I have pretty much almost a full bottle. So I feel like I need to be using this and it's really nice and moisturizing for winter. So there's a couple of reasons why myself and my boyfriend and Minnie decided to move out of Boston. The first one is that Boston in general has gotten extremely, extremely expensive. And I feel like a lot of you guys can relate to this, especially if you live in like a coastal city or maybe a place like London. I've heard a lot of this feedback from people who live all over the world that watch my channel. Everything is getting very, very expensive. And I was looking at the updated numbers for 2024. And Boston at this point, if you take a look at the average price of the rent is more expensive than New York City. So it's gotten extremely expensive. And in fact, this apartment that I'm living in right now, I was calculating this the other night, the price of the rent here has gone up 40% in the past three years years. Every single year it just keeps going up and up and up. And it's gotten to the point, friends, where it's not that I can't afford to live in Boston anymore because I could keep living here and it would be fine. But it has gotten to the point where I just don't care to pay these prices anymore. It's just a little bit too much for me combined with the other factors that I'm going to be sharing in just a second. I spend a lot of time at home and so does my boyfriend. We both work from home and I'm working 
two jobs from home and I'm filming all these videos in my little living room next to, you know, my desk where I do my day job. If you want to hear more about that, I can link a video down below where I talk a little bit more about what I do for my other job. But more or less, guys, I'm working two jobs. One of my goals for 2024 is we really just wanted to kind of like upgrade our apartment, get more space. We don't really fit in this apartment. And don't get me wrong, guys, I'm so grateful to live here. I don't want this video to seem like I'm complaining and like I hate Boston and I'm like so ungrateful for the things that I have. I totally am. It was a big deal for me to be able to move into this apartment when I did. It really took a lot of time for me to sort of grow my career so that I could afford to live by myself without a roommate at the time. But the fact of the matter is, is that me and Tyler just don't fit in this apartment and we spend all of our time here. Most of the day, he is in the bedroom and he's working in there. He has no desk. He basically works on my vanity with all of my fragrances and lipsticks. And then I'm out here filming and doing my day job. So most of the time I can't go in there. I don't have access to any of my makeup or clothes or anything. And then similarly, if I'm filming out here, he's kind of like cooped up in that bedroom. So I don't really have my own space to work. And just in general, our stuff, does not fit in here. Furthermore, Boston has some of the highest home prices in the country as well. It's kind of gotten to a point where I just don't know if, once again, given the other factors that I'm going to talk about, if it's really worth it for me. I just don't really care to spend that much on a home. Also, we have the highest childcare costs in the United States as well. So for me, someone who wants to get married and have kids like in somewhat the near future, these red lights are kind of going off in my head. Like maybe this isn't the most affordable place for me to kind of continue on to that next phase in my life. So yeah, friends, number one cost of living that definitely played a big role while making this decision. And it is a bittersweet decision because there's so many things that I do like about Boston. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in this video. But hey, if I can live somewhere else that I like just as much, if not, who knows, maybe more for a more affordable price, if I can just kind of get more for my money somewhere else, then you know, that is something that I'm definitely going to look into. We looked into it. And then this is the decision that we made. I'm going to be going in with the clay to post stick concealer next. I will link all of these products and all the shades that I use in the description box down below. By the way, this foundation looks so good. It looks even better than I remember it looking. It doesn't seem as dewy as I remember it looking. Maybe because it's winter time and it's a little dry in this room, but I'm really liking the way that it looks. So I'm just going to put on the Clay de Peau concealer while I continue this dialogue. Not only did we decide to move, of course, because of the cost of living, because if I really liked it here, if it made sense for me to stay here, then I would stay here. I would kind of just like suck it up and continue paying the prices. But the fact of the matter is, friends, I have no family here. And I also really don't have any friends left here either, which I know that sounds so sad. But every single one of my college friends, of which there were many, almost every single one, has moved to New York City. Like pretty much everybody went to New York, so I don't really have anyone left from my college days. I did make a lot of friends from previous jobs, but then of course with the pandemic, you're not really going into work as much. A lot of them moved during the pandemic because people were, you know, buying homes, they were doing the digital nomad thing, all that kind of stuff. So I really don't see those people that much anymore. I do have, you know, one or two close friends here that, you know, still really mean a lot to me that I will be sad that I won't be near them anymore. But I don't really get to see them that much anyway, because a lot of us guys, you know, we're, we're having kids, we're moving out, people are buying houses, and it does kind of, you know, get hard to see your friends day to day, like maybe you used to not going out every Saturday night with my girlfriends, I'm usually working and then trying to rest a little bit on the weekends. A lot of my friends are trying to find homes, trying to start families. A lot of them are kind of, you know, having trouble trying to find affordable homes wherever they live. And so most of my friends don't live here in Boston anymore. They either live in another city or they're trying to find somewhere to start or grow their family. Maybe some of you guys can relate to this as well, but I kind of feel like if all of my friends are just moving to the suburbs, then I can just move to like a more affordable city. I don't need to be in like the middle of Manhattan or anything at this point in my life because most of my friends pretty soon aren't going to be there anyway. So that was also a huge consideration. There's really nobody 
or nothing tying me to Boston right now. My family lives in a pretty rural part of New Jersey, so I'm not really ready to move there quite yet. Maybe in the future, you know, never say never. I am more of a city girl and I wanna be somewhere that's kind of like a major metropolitan area. And then Tyler's family lives in Southern California in the San Diego area. And while I love San Diego, and honestly, I would probably move there, it doesn't really make the cost of living situation any better because actually if you look at the updated numbers, San Diego is one of, I think it was the number two or maybe the number one most expensive city to live in in the US or expensive like metro area to live in. So while it ticks many boxes, it isn't, you know, more affordable than the situation that we have here in Boston. For bronzer friends, I thought I would pull out my Gucci bronzer because this is one of my favorites, but I haven't used it in a little while, or at least I haven't used it on my channel. So this is what I'm gonna be using to bronze up my face. Ironically, guys, this is perfectly timed because the other reason why we are gonna be moving away is because I really just don't like the weather here in Boston. I know everybody has their personal preference and for sure when you have four seasons or especially if you have a particularly long cold winter, you do appreciate those sunny days or those warmer days a lot more than if you don't. But that being said, I really, I feel like I'm ready to move somewhere that is warmer, okay? And so many people, when I tell them that I'm moving to Dallas, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so hot there. And it's like, of course I know that it's hot in Dallas. That's why I'm moving there. I like hot weather and I know that they have very, very hot summers and sometimes that seems to go on forever. I visited Dallas in the summer and we thought it was perfectly fine. Like I can hop in a pool, I can hop in the air conditioning. It's kind of the situation guys where most of the time you have to choose, do you want a colder winter or do you want a hotter summer? There's not that many places in the US that are just perfect weather all year round. You gotta give and take. You have to decide what is your personal preference. And I just do not like the cold. I'm a different person in the summer versus the winter. I don't like how dark it gets. And I know that Dallas does get cold in the winter. But trust me, guys, I looked at so much weather data of every single city in the US. I know what the average temperatures are. I looked at how many sunny days they have, how many rainy days they have, what are the average temps, all that kind of stuff. And while I'm very aware that Dallas gets hot in the summer, what I do like about it is that they do have seasons. In the winter, it's much more mild. It's more like one of my favorite seasons, which is the autumn time. It's not super duper cold. Sometimes it'll get cold for like a day or two and they do have ice storms, but I just like the fact that they have the seasons. I can still wear all of my trousers and sweaters and that kind of stuff. I just don't have to be super bundled up and I don't have to worry about snow. And they also get an extra hour of sunlight. We did look at other warm weather cities in the United States. We looked at Florida, for example. Well, I think, you know, we could live in Florida. I just wasn't really ready to move somewhere that was more of like a tropical type of climate or, you know, kind of has a lot of rain and also hurricanes as well. I just feel like that would have been too big of a change for me. So I felt like Dallas was kind of a good happy medium where you get those seasons, you can still enjoy all of the fall fashion and that kind of stuff. But overall, it's just a lot warmer than the situation that we have here in Boston. I just, I, I don't like it guys. I wanna move someplace warmer. And my boyfriend is from Southern California. So this was a huge shock to him when he moved here three years ago. And ever since he's been wanting to kind of go someplace that's just not as cold. I'm gonna be going into the Tom Ford shade and illuminate in the shade 0.5. This is gonna be my contour today. I haven't used this in quite some time. I used to use it every single day. And since then I've switched over to the Westman Atelier face tray stick just because it's a little bit more compact and quicker, but this is still a really good product that I always have in my collection. So guys, you can kind of see, I've been thinking to myself for the past year, like, why do I wanna keep living here? Should I keep living here? If it's very expensive, I have no family, no friends. There's not a lot of houses inventory. It's cold and I don't need to be here for work. That's another thing. My company has a small WeWork office here, but I have plenty of coworkers that live all over the country. In fact, I even have one that lives in Dallas and I really don't need to go into an office to do my job. My team is not really located in Boston. So I'm gonna keep continuing doing what I'm doing here where I'm working this job and then my other day job during the day. There's really like not that much keeping me here in Boston. And so kind of transitioning over to why we selected Dallas, because let me tell you, 
there was a spreadsheet. There was a spreadsheet of so many cities that we considered. We looked at all of the data, all the prices, all the weather, as I mentioned before. And we landed on Dallas for a couple of different reasons, which obviously some of them you guys can guess. The first thing is that we wanted to live in a major city. We want things to do. I am a city person and I know that Dallas is very different from Boston or New York or even Chicago. It is very much more of like a driving city. We'll talk more about that a little bit later in this video. I know it's not the same thing, but it is a major metro area. So there's lots of things to do. They have really fun sports teams. There's plenty of restaurants. There's really, really good shopping. Very good luxury shopping in Dallas. Actually, much better than what we have here in Boston. No offense. I looked all of it up. I looked all of this up, guys. For some reason, a lot of people tell me that Dallas is boring. I don't really get that, but usually when I ask people what they mean by that, they mean usually one of two things. The first thing is that there's not that many like outdoorsy things to do because there's no mountains, like you can't go skiing. There's not really a lot of hiking and stuff. I've heard there's some beautiful lakes where you can go like boating and swimming and stuff on the lake. They got that whole lake life thing going on, which I'm excited to try all of that out. But if you're like a super outdoorsy person, I've heard it really isn't the place for you. Luckily, I'm not a very outdoorsy outdoorsy person. My idea of being outdoorsy is like walking around my city and just kind of, you know, being outside, maybe maybe having a drink on like a patio or a rooftop or something like that. I don't ski. I hate all of like the winter sports and the fun things that people do here in New England in the winter. I just enjoy like being outside. I like a good nature walk and that kind of stuff. But if I'm doing something super outdoorsy, I'm probably doing it in like New Jersey. You know, my family lives in like the middle of the woods or I'm going somewhere else. I'm on a trip or something like that. Like I said, guys, I'm working all the time. And so I don't do anything like too crazy or adventurous on my weekends. I'm normally just having like a nice chill time. The other thing that people tend to say is that, oh, Dallas isn't as fun. They don't have as much like nightlife and clubbing and those types of things. And people go to bed early and that kind of stuff. And to that, I'm like, that's fine, okay? I'm gonna be 33 in March. I don't go to the club. I do like to go out, but I mostly like to go out to dinner or like a sports bar and watch a basketball game. I like to go out and have like a nice cocktail or something like that. I like to go out and I'll stay out until like 11 or 12 or something like that, but then I'm going to bed. I'm not staying up until like 4 a.m. and like oof, 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 staying up at the club. I do like to do that every once in a while, but it's not really my thing. <laughs> I'm usually not the one that's planning it. Why is it taking me so long to do my contour? Usually I use a bigger brush like this but I was trying to be all professional guys and it was taking forever so let's finish up the contours so we can get onto the blush. The look that I'm going for today is going to be like rosy spring like kind of romantic so for blush I pulled out this one from Chanel. I love this one it's called number 260 Alizane. It's gorgeous there's a little bit of like a gold shimmer in it. I tried to pick out things that were very classic for this video because I know a lot of you guys while you enjoy the new releases and the seasonal limited editions and that kind of stuff I want to show some love to the pieces in my collection that you can get all year round. And you guys really seem to like that. So here is the blush and where was I? Okay, yes, why am I, <laughs> why am I moving to Dallas? I have some notes here guys and I'm trying to stick to the notes. Okay, we already talked about the warmer weather. We already talked about things to do and that kind of stuff. Dallas also has a very high standard of living but that cost of living is below the national average. They have a lot more housing inventory. And so obviously I've already talked about this so much in this video. I won't believe it guys, but just in general, it is a more affordable place to live. And it does seem to be pretty like family friendly. There's a lot of really nice suburbs all around Dallas. In general, there's just a lot more space than what we have here in the Northeast. So I think that that kind of, you know, plays a role in that as well. Also, we are closer to our families. And obviously, I'm a little bit closer to New Jersey here in Boston, but still, I have to fly to get to them. It takes me like six and a half hours to drive to New Jersey. I really don't enjoy that drive. So in order to see my family, I have to take a short flight anyway. However, we are like six or six and a half hours, whatever the flight is to San Diego. And we would like to be closer to his family. We really enjoy going to San Diego to visit his mom and all that kind of stuff. And I think she's super excited 
that we're going to be a little bit closer as well because she does a really good job of coming and visiting us. In fact, she's going to be coming here today to help us pack, which is super, super nice of her. But that definitely played a factor as well. Dallas is basically equidistant to each of our families. And also they have some really great airports and flight deals. They have one of the biggest airports in the country. Basically, there's just a lot of flights we really like to travel. So we wanted to be in a major city, someplace where, you know, if we wanted to travel, we have a lot of different options. And if there's stuff that we want to do, there's lots of options for that as well. Oh, and the last thing as well is that there is no state income tax in Texas. Apparently they have kind of high property taxes. I don't own any property yet, so I guess that's good for the short term, but we are going to be increasing our salary slightly just because we're not going to be paying as many taxes as we would here in Massachusetts, which isn't, it's not too, too bad here. But if we were to move to New Jersey or California, where our families live, those are two of the highest tax states in the country. So this is a little bit more tax friendly for us as well. For my highlighter, I'm going to be going into this palette from Dior Backstage. This is 004 Rose Gold. I thought this would go well with kind of like the rosy look that I'm doing today. And I think I'm just going to kind of like, I don't know, mix these two. That's usually what I do if I just want like a subtle type of rose gold highlight. Ooh, I love that. This is great for spring and you can also use this on your eyes. I hope that this is still available. I find that these are often not in stock, which makes me a little bit nervous. Dior, who keeps reformulating everything. So what are the things that I'm gonna miss about Boston or maybe some of the things that I'm concerned I'm going to miss a little bit too much? The first thing is that Boston is just an absolutely gorgeous city. I know, I'm a little bit biased because I've lived here for 14 years. I think it is probably the most if not one of the most beautiful cities in the country. It has a very European feel. I like the architecture. It's very historical. There's so much history and culture and art here that I feel like a lot of people, I don't know, maybe just don't know about or don't appreciate. When people think about Boston, I don't know what they think about. Maybe they think about like lobster rolls, which that is more like Maine, by the way. I know people think about that. They think about chowda. They think about sports teams. And yes, we do have all of those things. But putting all of that aside, Boston is an absolutely gorgeous city. I love also how safe the city is. I can walk through the park in the middle of the night and feel absolutely safe. Obviously, I have to be careful and aware of my surroundings, but in general, guys, I've always felt safe here, which is great. I just really like the feel of the city. I like kind of that hustle and bustle, but it's still a little bit more quiet than New York or maybe some other bigger cities in the country. And Dallas is a lot bigger. It is very much a driving city. I love the fact that Boston is a walking city. I love to walk around. That's one of my favorite things to do here. Many times I don't even play plan anything for the weekend. If it is a nice day, me and Tyler are outside. We just walk through the park. We go and we walk, you know, all over by the harbor. We love to walk around. And so I am a little bit nervous moving to a city that is primarily driving based. But what I have realized is that there's really not that many cities in the U.S. that have that same walkability that I can get here or that have kind of like the hustle and bustle when you step outside your door that maybe you would get from like a New York City. And if you guys don't know, I was living in San Diego for two months last year during the winter. So you kind of get away from some of the cold. We went to San Diego so we could spend some time with Tyler's family. And yeah, we were there for basically two months. And being there and not really having as much of that walkability aspect and having to drive everywhere definitely made me more open to living somewhere else. I realized this is fine. Like I can drive places. Sure, I would prefer if I could just kind of walk to that place because that's what I'm used to. But also we can drive to a park where we can walk around. I can drive to wherever if I want to go take a run. We can drive to Target together. Like we had fun driving around together in San Diego. So that definitely made me a lot more open, you know, and kind of realizing this is okay. I don't need to live right in the middle of the city where I can walk to every little thing. Boston is a pretty small city, so it's easy to do that. So I'm willing to kind of trade that aspect of Boston for just having, you know, like more space, etc. I'm just going to quickly do my brows with the Victoria Beckham Baby Blade because I want to get into the eyeshadow palette. And guys, going off of the whole like walkability driving sort of thing, <laughs> some of you guys are going to be shocked to hear this. But one of the things that I'm a little bit nervous about is just the fact that I have not driven a car in like 10 years. Like I literally have not driven 
at all in the past decade. I can drive. I know how to drive. It's just I literally have not needed to own a car for the past 14 years that I've lived here. And sure, sometimes when I go home to New Jersey, I would drive my parents car if I want to like go visit my grandma or go to go to the grocery store or something like that but even at this point when I go home I still have my mom or like my best friend come and pick me up and drive me around because I just don't really feel safe driving on highways so that is something that I'm gonna have to practice and relearn which is fine okay because we all knew we would get to a point where I would have to drive a car again it's just inevitable but it is pretty funny because all my family's laughing at me like um you're gonna have to learn how to drive a car <laughs> drive a car again that's something that I'm gonna be working on for 2024 that'll be another resolution learn how to drive a car again thankfully my boyfriend likes to drive and thankfully as well he actually already owns a car we don't have it here in Boston he has it back in San Diego and so that is how we would get around whenever we go to San Diego which is nice we don't have to like buy or lease a new car so that's what we'll be using for now and then eventually as I learn to drive again I'll probably get my own car but I think just to start guys you know there's not really that many places Places that I go to by myself anyway like we like to you know go places together go on outings together and neither of us are commuting to work so I feel like the one car should be okay just to start one of the other things that I forgot to mention that I'm gonna be missing about Boston is just being near the ocean Dallas has I think the Trinity River and as I mentioned earlier they have some lakes nearby but they are not a coastal city I do really enjoy being about a 10 minute walk to the Boston Harbor I love of walking along the water I just feel like it is so so peaceful but that being said there are some other places in Dallas where I can walk and I'm sure we're gonna find the spots where you know we just go to kind of like unwind and be outside in those types of things and you know half the year I can't really go on those walks because it does get cold here and a lot of times the weather isn't really good for me to be running as well I do have <laughs> I do have asthma so that is another thing I'm going to be missing about Boston for sure. I just think that it's such a beautiful city. Love being on the water. Love the European feel. Love the walkability. It's just so quaint. It's just so cute. I love the history here. So there is so much that I'm going to be missing, guys. It's a little bit bittersweet, but I am excited for some things in Dallas, and that's what I'm going to be talking about next. I'm going to be using for my eyes the Chanel Le Beige Tender Palette. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this since the cool version came out for the Winter Glow collection this year. And this is going to be more of like a rosy, rose gold type of tone. I thought I would do a demo of it here today so you guys can maybe tell the differences because I don't actually think that I've done a look with this here on my channel. So this is what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. Okay, so what am I looking forward to in Dallas? And by the way, if you're from Texas or you're from Dallas, comment down below and tell me if there are places that I should go, places that I should check out. We are going to be kind of like not in the downtown area, but in the city in like Dallas proper. We're not going to be living in a suburb just yet. I'm not looking to really buy a home this year and maybe not even next year. We're just going to be renting for now so we can learn a little bit more about Dallas. But if you're familiar with the area, please leave me a comment. Please help me out. Tell me where to go. Tell me what to do because I'm going to be so new to this city, which actually that is something that I'm pretty excited about. I'm excited to explore something different. I've lived here for so long, sometimes I do take things for granted. I definitely realized that during the lockdown and the pandemic that there's just so many wonderful things about my city that I just never really paid attention to. And so I've enjoyed the past couple of years enjoying those you know, those small like little luxuries and things around Boston. And I'm looking forward to doing the same in Dallas. I'm also, like I said, excited for the warmer weather. It's going to be a pretty drastic change. You know, it's in like the 30s here, whatever today in Boston. And we just had a snowstorm. And I think we're getting another storm tonight. I'm not really sure if it's going to be snowy or not. But as soon as I move there, it's going to be warmer. I'm looking forward to having a pool that's something that I haven't really been able to enjoy here in this city. I'm just going into this highlight shade here and kind of blending around the edges. It's very soft, so it gives a nice little kind of lifted effect there for the brow. Sometimes I go in with that first as something very basic, but I didn't really do that today. I wanted you guys to really see the tone and the color of this 
palette. I'm excited for the sports. I'm excited to watch the Mavericks play. You guys know I love basketball. My boyfriend already got me a Mavericks jersey. He got me a Cowboys jersey. He got me a Celtics jersey as well because he knows I like the Celtics. And do not give this a thumbs down because you don't like the Cowboys or something like that. So many of my family members were like, oh no, you're not going to be a Cowboys fan now. It's really not that deep, guys. I don't even really watch football all that much. But I'm looking forward to kind of, you know, experiencing a little bit of like a different culture and seeing what people like there. They definitely seem to like sports. I'm going into this shimmery shade right here, which is super pretty. It's kind of like a soft metallic rose and it just adds a really nice contrast to the eye. I'm going to put it here kind of like in the center. And guys, I am so excited for just little things that I'm going to have in my apartment, like a washing machine. I don't have a washer dryer here. I have to do all of my laundry in like a basement that we have in our building. And let me tell you, the clothes do not get as clean and you have to pay per load. And I just hate it. I love going home to New Jersey and having a washer dryer. I do so much laundry, even when I don't have to. I'll do my mom's laundry. I'll do my dad's laundry. I love having those little things. I'm looking forward to having a nicer shower head or one of those little spray things at the end of, you know, your sink or whatever. So you can clean your dishes a little bit easier. Just all those little like modern touches. I'm really looking forward to the building that we live in today. It's not an awful building, but the reality is that here in Boston, there's not really a lot of good like mid-range apartments that you can choose from. You're either in like a very, very old building because it's just like a very historical city. There's not a lot of space to build new things. Or when they do build new things, your other option is a very, very expensive, ultra luxury high rise apartment and you get like half of the space. I don't know who is living in these apartments, guys. I think it's a lot of like international students whose parents have the money to kind of house them in a luxury apartment while they go to school here. It's a very transient city. So you have a lot of people coming here for school just like my college friends did. And then unfortunately, if they're not like originally from the New England area or they don't have a job here, a lot of them do move to, you know, like San Francisco or New York or maybe wherever they are from, et cetera. So I feel like we are left with a lot of kind of student housing and then you've got like older buildings and then you have these luxury high rises. So basically what I'm trying to say is the building that we live in is very old and they're constantly doing construction. Like every single day there's construction in this building. In fact, for an entire year, over a year, they were doing like facade repair on this building. So imagine working at your desk, working from home or even filming a video and there is a man with a jackhammer outside your window literally drilling into the side of the building with this like ear shattering noise it literally this building frustrates me so so much I hate to complain so much about these stupid things but literally I cannot wait to get out of this building I hate it there's always noise I also live right next to a hospital which is very convenient when I need to go to the doctor which is really not that often but there's a helicopter pad right there there's helicopter landing and taking off off all the time and I'm really hoping that my new apartment doesn't really have that much noise. We are going to be living on a pretty high floor and we selected the apartment so that we would have plenty of natural light for my videos, not as much noise so I could be more comfortable and make more content for you guys. So yeah, I'm excited for what will hopefully be less construction, fewer renovations in a new building, and just a couple of like those little everyday things that I never really had or like couldn't really afford to have here in this city. I've just gone into the deepest shade in the palette. This is a really pretty, like a berry, a rose berry type of matte. And I'm just adding this to the outer corner with this little brush. I've really been liking this one. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy A502. And I've been using this one one for just kind of like these softer palettes where I'm not going super heavy and I just want like a little touch of something in the outer corner. The last thing that I'm gonna do with this palette is go into this little sparkly topper shade. Most of these palettes have at least one of these and the one in this palette is like a shimmering pink. I did wet my brush just a little bit so I can kind of show you guys the full impact of this. It's Chanel so it's not like the, you know, most glittery thing ever, but I do really like to use it for an inner corner highlight and just like in the center of the lid. But you also could just use that metallic shade that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm just gonna add this little touch and then we will move on to 
the eyeliner. Hopefully I'm doing an okay job applying this makeup while talking. I'm not very good at this. I don't really do that many of these types of videos and I don't want my whole channel to be like my life updates and that kind of stuff. But like I said in the beginning of the video guys, I thought it would be a little bit weird for me to be in a separate place, a whole different city and you guys see me like living a completely different life in a completely different city and me not tell you why <laughs> or what or where or whatever. I feel like that would be so confusing. So that's why I wanted to make this video. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the new shade from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is called Cinnamon and this is a really nice soft brown shade. I think this one is my new favorite from her. This is such a really nice everyday like creamy type of eyeliner and I'll just kind of put on a little a little bit of a layer just like you saw and then I'll blend it out and then sometimes I'll take the little smudger and I'll just wing it out very gently like that. For mascara I'm going in with the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. This was my absolute holy grail until Tower 28 and Kali Ray came along with their mascaras and now basically all three of them are my holy grail. This one I think is probably the most volumizing and I wanted to show it a little bit of love so I've been using this one a lot lately. I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, guys. I probably should have put this in the beginning for more people to hear. So I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm not used to making these style of videos, but you probably will see a brief pause in my content while I move. I'm kind of at the point now where I need to pack up all the stuff that's behind me. There's a bunch of boxes right here to my right and actually behind this chair. I really need to pack up all this stuff. It's gotten to the point where I don't know if I can film any more videos in this apartment after this. So I do have, I think, two or three other videos that I filmed this week that will be going live or maybe are already live. But basically just what I want to say, guys, is that if you don't really see me posting as many videos for like the next two weeks or so, it's just because I'm moving all of my stuff on my equipment and my entire life across the country. So please be patient, guys. I'm really excited to set up the extra bedroom that we're going to have in the apartment, make it nice and homey. I'm sorry, I really don't have the bandwidth to pre-film a ton of things. I try and film as many videos as I can, but it gets to the point where I just can't really film anymore. So I'm trying my best and you guys are always super respectful and kind. I'm not really too worried about it, but obviously I care so much about my channel. I don't like going a week without posting or even a couple of days without posting. So I'm gonna try my best guys. And also I wanted to say thank you so, so much for the feedback that a lot of you guys left me on my 2024 beauty slash YouTube resolutions video. I talked about in that video, wanting my own space, you know, wanting to kind of upgrade my space and some of my equipment as well. Also just kind of improving, improving my content in general. And you guys left me so much wonderful feedback. I just wanted to say thank you so much for that. And I also wanted to reassure some of you guys who thought maybe my channel was going to be changing drastically. I want to reassure you guys that the new room that I have, I specifically selected that apartment because I wanted to have a YouTube studio. So there's actually gonna be more natural light so that it's a little bit easier for me to film the style of content that I want. And I'm still gonna be in my home, okay? Because so many of you guys <laughs> were worried that Minnie was no longer going to be around. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to set up like a little cat bed or something in my new setup so that she can kind of like go up there and sleep, in fact. Yeah, she's sleeping like right behind that little Instagram plaque right now. I don't know if you guys can see her, but a lot of you guys were concerned about that as well. I really don't plan on changing the homey and personable style of my videos or the candid style of my videos. I'm really not going to be changing that, guys. It's really just more about me having a more comfortable and efficient place to work and making small little upgrades so that it kind of just in general helps my channel grow, but I'm still gonna be keeping all of the same content that you like. And message is heard loud and clear. You guys really like the natural light, but keep in mind, every day is not a sunny day, especially here where I live right now. If it's storming outside, the video looks very different than if it is a nice sunny morning like it is right now. And that can make my job extremely frustrating. And it also, it just doesn't look very good if a new person is coming to my channel and the lighting is super whack. So it kind of gives me the opportunity to have 
more natural light, but also room to kind of adjust the light to something that is a little bit more realistic if it's not the sunniest of days. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. It's always a struggle with lighting and stuff, but I'm trying my best, guys, and I'm gonna try and match all of your expectations because you guys and what you like and what you're interested in is definitely my priority. Lastly, friends, we have lips, and this is actually the only new product that I'm gonna be using in this video. This is the new spring lipstick from Guerlain. This is called Cherry Bloom, and I just really wanted to demo this for you guys. I'm not going to do a separate review or anything because it's just one lipstick. And I did do a try on on my Instagram stories, but I thought it would look really good with this look, I hope. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's a really beautiful kind of like rosy cherryish type of color. And this is in the satin formula. So here we go. I hope you guys have liked this video and this get ready with me. I hope it was relaxing. I hope it didn't sound too negative or complaining, spoiled or anything like that. I really just wanted to share with you guys what's going on in my life so you guys know why I am moving. A lot of people that we've spoken to have asked us like, oh, why didn't you move to Austin, Texas? Because there's so many tech companies there and me and my boyfriend, we do work in the tech industry. But the thing is, you know, I feel like Everybody who moves from a coastal city to Texas goes to Austin. And I really just wanted something different. I didn't want to be in like a mini Texas version of Boston. I know that Austin has its own culture and it's a really good city. I've been there several times. I'm looking forward to being closer there so I can visit it more often because I really have enjoyed my times there. But I didn't really want to be somewhere where there was tons of tech companies. Maybe in the future, if I wanted to get a job or something like that, I could do that. I felt like Dallas had had a little bit of that. And because of that, it also technically is a little bit more affordable. People have already, you know, caught on to Austin, Texas, people from like the coastal cities. Isn't this the most beautiful springtime rose color? I really, really love it. It gives a little bit of a pop without being too, too much. So you can kind of pair it alongside a lot of the other light, airy springtime makeup that's coming out right now, or you might already have in your collection. Which speaking of, I'm really excited to like purge and organize all of my makeup. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't think I'm going to film a declutter. I think I'm just gonna get rid of a lot of stuff that has expired and then organize everything that I have. I do have Tyler's mom coming here today. She's going to help us pack and we already have so much stuff all over the house. I think that filming a declutter would probably be very annoying to them and also just not as enjoyable for me. I feel like it would be too, too stressful. So I think I'm just going to declutter everything, pack it up very nicely. And then when I get to Dallas and I organize everything, then I will film those types of videos so you guys can see what I have, how I organize it and how I make it, you know, look pretty and usable and all that kind of stuff. So definitely look out for that, guys. I'm gonna take the clips out. I gotta get started for work pretty soon. But this, my friends, is the final spring look. Even though it's not spring outside, it's definitely winter, but that's what I'm calling this, a gorgeous spring look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys like the look that I created. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment down below. Just, of course, be respectful, which pretty much all of you guys are. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!